Hi, YouTubers. It's Evan X. We're going to be Michael Thurs with Big Ass Cigar right now. So, uh, today is Michael Thurs with like, Big Ass Cigar. So, uh, I want to talk about something right now. So, uh, disclaimer this might be a little bit of a controversial subject. So, uh, if you're not into watching controversial subjects, please don't watch the video. So, uh, basically, this has to do with vaccines. So, everyone knows what vaccines are. Basically, you have uh, like the MMR vaccine, you have like the chickenpox vaccine, you have the HPV vaccine, the Gardasil vaccine, and obviously, I'm not a doctor for the last damn time. So, um, a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy around vaccines, mostly due to the ingredients. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, there are trace amounts of mercury in vaccines, and a lot of people have speculated that can cause things such as autism. And um, I personally don't buy into it personally, because uh, yes, there is trace amounts of mercury in vaccines, but there's trace amounts of mercury in tuna fish. So, um, what I want to talk about right now is some people with vaccines do have a, I mean, it, it, it's not a secret that some people with vaccines do have significant reactions, not just a little bit of uh, discomfort in the arm, not just a little bit of, you know, bruising and swelling from the getting the shot. Some people do have significant reactions. I want to spend maybe about a minute or two talking about what I would compare this to. So... Now, the majority, I mean, I will say this first off, vaccines have saved lives. So, compared to 100 years ago, when there were very little vaccines out there, and people were dying left and right from, you know, things like smallpox, things like polio, um, vaccines have definitely saved lives. It's not a question about it. So, and we've made vaccines safer and safer over the years, and despite all the BS about vaccines, there is a lot of benefit to them. Now, some people will say and argue and play devil's advocate and say, well, do you realize that my little child, you know, had a significant reaction to a vaccine? And let me compare that to another thing. So when people may, might make an argument, say, my child got, say, the HPV shot, the Gardasil shot, and had a significant reaction, you know, bur burning, searing in the arm, and, you know, potentially, you know, convulsions, that that kind of stuff, that kind of crap. I want to make a comparison to something else that we all live with every single day, which is food allergies. So, do we ban peanut butter? Do we ban shellfish? Just because there is, I mean, you get what I'm saying. So, it's like, yeah, so there probably are a handful of people who have gotten vaccines who have gotten a significant reaction to the vaccine, and as a result, um, they've, you know, developed, you know, serious reactions, maybe even permanent side effects from the vaccine, but same thing with food allergies, same thing with allergies to insect bites, I mean, do we ban, um, do we say no more beehives, no more honey, because some kids are allergic to bee stings? Some kids have an anaphylactic reaction to bee stings. Do we ban peanut butter because there's, a, you know, 100 children have a life-threatening reaction to peanut butter if they smell peanut butter? No, hell no, because peanut butter is, is tasty. I mean, I love peanut butter. So it's like, that's kind of the thing is, you know, probably the same if I had to guess, and believe me, I'm not a doctor for the last damn time, and I'm not somebody who's like a freaking expert, you know, probably the same amount of people who have significant reactions to vaccines vaccines like HPV-16 Gardasil, um, you know, the MMR vaccine, the chickenpox vaccine, all that kind of stuff, the polio vaccine, probably a significant amount of people who have a reaction to those shots. It's the same thing with food allergies. It's probably the same risk you're taking. So the chance that your child is going to have, and believe me, I'm not a doctor for the last damn time, uh, the chance that your child is going to have a significant, serious, life-threatening reaction to a vaccine is probably about the same chance when your child eats their first peanut butter cracker or their first, you know, piece of shellfish. So it's probably the same risk you're taking in terms of analogy is you know, the same amount of people who have a serious life-threatening reaction to vaccines, same amount of people who have an anaphylactic reaction to peanut butter or peanuts or food allergies. You get what I'm saying. Same shit. Big ass cigar life. Bye.